Hi lovelies, so today I'm going to talk about the top 10 possibly most embarrassing yet realistic yet kind of embarrassing, maybe even shocking things that happen when you're chronically ill. If you guys have, okay, you guys have not been commenting other than Tiffy, thank you Tiffy, on my videos, this is one that I need comments from because I do not want to be left alone on this one. Maybe this is just really strange, disgusting things I do, but I, okay, no excuses. I'm doing this. Um, also, I completely forget what I was trying to thought was there. Brilliant, I'm sure. Uh, okay. So my list starts out with, and I have discussed this in a vlog before, my showering habits, which was really weird and intimate and weird. But anyways, uh, number one is you could not shower for days. And I'm talking days. It's been a long time. Well, not for me right now because I showered on 4th of July, but it's been days, still no shower, and I've gone a pretty long time without showering because I just want to explain this one for you people out there that are cringing right now. I have like this OCD thing about the bath, and I have to shower before I take a bath, so I can't physically stand up or shower or handle my hair in the shower so if I can't do that I don't take a shower or bathe because I feel like bathing is just sitting in your own filth so I have to shower before I bathe so don't even ask me about the bathing thing I've gotten that okay the second thing as I've so ingeniously showed you so thought ahead on this one don't change your clothes for days look back I wore this like yesterday and the day before I think or at least yesterday just for you guys no really I just didn't change uh, yeah that includes underwear which I just found out is very unusual the other day when I had girl night girls night and I heard my friends laughing about we had like a stack of fun like questions girly questions to ask and one of them was like would you rather go so many days without brushing your teeth or taking not taking your underwear off and everybody was like oh my gosh brushing my teeth I can never like we're not you know not change my underwear every day and I was like I don't and they were all like like that Jenna Marbles face like like crazy I was just like okay maybe that was one of those things that like should have stayed in my mind but it didn't okay the third thing is not see sunlight for days yes I am pale as a ghost that never stops because I'm psychotic about sunscreen so even if I go to the beach every single day of the summer I will not get a tan but this is just the au natural of being inside the time but there are days where I cannot get out of my bed and those days I do not see sunlight because I have light canceling curtains you're welcome visualize that sexy um, number five I think is pretty clear shaving this is the one thing that I have a really tough time with but I will let my legs go. They look like a man's. But underarms, like I'm, every time I take a shower, which could be days, I do shave my underarms. So that's like the one thing. But I'm sure a lot of people, it doesn't bother them. But for me, my friend in like sixth grade told me that if you don't shave, if you let your hair grow out, that you'll sweat more and smell more and it'll be stinky smell. So ever since then, I've just always been psycho about shaving my underarms. So if you're my friend and you're out there and I haven't shaved, something's probably wrong. I'm probably very ill. Um, number six is 
not talk to another human being for days. I feel like I wrote this down and then immediately maybe this thinking it through. I do, I maybe go, a, uh, my parents like to know I'm alive. So if I didn't live with someone like before when I had roommates and they would go out of town, like I didn't talk to anyone for days, but I live with my parents now. So they're pretty good about checking in just to make sure, you know, I'm not dead or anything. So. Um, but chronically ill, you could go days without talking to someone. Number seven, eat real food. Uh, like I could demolish these today, yet yesterday when I was in agonizing pain, could not eat a single thing. Now one thing, nada, nothing, nope, not going in my mouth, but today, just made myself sick from eating too many chips after having really healthy meals all day that I won't bore you with because they were freaking amazing and I don't want you guys to feel bad that you didn't have the same amazing, amazing meal I had. In the comments down below, let me know the amazing meal that you had today. That will make me feel better. Number eight, watch more than three movies in a day. This is hard. Now, I'm not talking trilogies with like whatever, like Star Wars. There's going to be like six of them. I think there's like, I should know this. Like there's at least four now. I think there's five. I lost interest in the fourth one, which is actually the first one. It's so freaking confusing. But, um, yeah, I, and I, I was lowballing it on three. Because I have watched like five or six movies in a day, including documentaries. Okay, number nine. This I already kind of talked about, but not eat for a day and then get sick from eating too much. So that was great foreshadowing. I ate the rest of this bag of Doritos and now I want to vom did not eat yesterday. Couldn't do it. Shouldn't have done that. Disgusting. I don't think I'll ever eat Cooler Ranch Doritos again. And that's saying a lot. Okay, so for number 10, be perfectly fine one day and then be puking sick the next. That is the true joy of fibromyalgia. And just to make this point a little more clear, I can be perfectly fine all day and then five minutes before something happens could be disgustingly sick or vice versa like there have been times that my best friend Alicia has been here and I'm like I'm too sick to go I'm so sorry like I'm so sorry I can't go what was it her wedding shower or something like that is there such a thing as a wedding shower something like that and literally five minutes before she went I was like do you think I can make it She's like, let's do it. We like packed everything together, threw my hair up in a top bun, put a little makeup on, wore a cute outfit, and I was there. And I had a good time. But if you would ask me 10 minutes before that, I'd have been like, mm-mm, not happening, not going to happen. Five minutes later, boom. Feeling A-OK. -okay. Not A-OK, -okay, but you know what I mean. So those were the top 10 embarrassing slash repulsing slash really embarrassing things that could possibly happen when you're chronically ill and possibly happen to those you know who are chronically ill that don't talk about it because on my channel I like to talk about the most embarrassing parts of my life. I feel like it brings joy to the world which is what I'm here for folks. Um, yeah. So thank you all so much for the prayers. Um, there's something that my pops, um, Pastor Eddie Williams, always says to me when uh, anyone, including myself, says, I'll be praying for you or whoever it is. It's the least I can do. And he always says, no, it's the most you can do. And I just want to let you know how appreciative I am and how my best friend is because it's all he asks for is prayers because he's 
uh, an amazing human being that like is so unselfish it's ridiculous but um yeah thank you guys so so much it means the absolute world to me um, and your comments mean the world to me, even though they're slowing down and you guys aren't commenting. Maybe you'll comment on this one. I'm sorry. It's probably because I haven't been able to edit my videos and you guys like shorter, concise videos without me saying, um, and all that kind of stuff. But I'm just still not, my computer is not, it's not being a nice person right now or thing. But I love you guys, and I'm sending out X double O's, and I hope you're having a pain-free, stress-free day. And as always, I will talk to you guys tomorrow.